In this video, I'll show you how to get started with collections. First, go to collections.folletsoftware.com. Enter your school's name, and you may need to select a state first. Click Login. Enter your destiny credentials. And that takes you to the main collections page, the public page. From here, I can see collections created by other teachers at my school, George Washington Academy, at my district, and in other districts. Here at the top, where it says private, these are my collections, the collections I have created Either I have shared the collections or I have not yet shared them, but this is where I would find my own collections. The first time I log in, I see this card here. When I click this icon, I'm able to create my first collection. First, I will give it a name. And then I type in a description. And you'll see that by default, the visibility is private. I'm not sharing this collection with anybody yet. But I can change that to sh so that other teachers at my school or district can see it, or I can make it available to all teachers who use Destiny. So I click Next. I can now select Grades and Subject. These are useful tags when searching for content. It helps you to narrow your search down by grade or subject. I click Next and I can uh, customize, change the color of the collection itself. By default, it is blue, but I can make it red. And I can select an image as well. I click the little image icon. These are images we have on file that anybody can use, or I can upload my own custom image. So I click upload and I upload an image from my computer. Now, this is a large image, so I can adjust it, either larger or smaller. I can also change the position so I can see more of Napoleon. And I click Accept. And then Create. So I've just created my first collection. I can add an item here. But I want to show you what it looks like on my page. So I now have my first collection here. To create another collection, I would cl click this plus sign in the lower right corner of my screen. Now I can invite other teachers to help build this collection. This, these three dots connected by lines allow me to share my collection or invite others to collaborate. I can share using a link, and I can share that link using Google Classroom or email, and that's useful if I want to share this collection with students or with other teachers, but I can, I can also invite individual teachers, and I can give them separate uh, rights, uh, separate from my students who I may have only shared a link with. So let me share this with another teacher. Click Invite. And I've now invited myself to be a collaborator on this collection. You can also click on these three dots to edit my collection. I can edit the title, the tags. I can also assign standards to this collection. Now, the first time I, I need to select a standard. And 
and then I click the, the paper clip to attach a standard to my collection. I can remove it by, by selecting the detach icon or over here, just clicking on the X. These drop these arrows that point down expand the list, my the standards, so I can drill down further into the standard. So I've now attached a standard to my collection that's visible down here.